For many teenagers, the blocks of their neighborhoods are their world. But here in Chicago, we met a group going sightseeing in their own city, and that's changing their perspectives and their futures. I thought all blocks would be like the same, playing loud music, just doing all like all dangerous stuff like that. Now 15-year-old Ayanna Hood knows they're not because My Block, My Hood, My City takes teens like Hood and 18-year-old Anthony Chandler outside their neighborhoods for new experiences. Glass making, ice skating for the first time, this is actual ice. inside corporate America, and more. So a lot of teenagers in Chicago have, um, you know, unfortunately never been downtown. It's not their fault. They've never been on an elevator. Never been in an elevator? Yeah, and they want to work in a marketing company, but never been in an elevator. When you take a kid outside of their neighborhood and show Activist them, Jamal Cole you know, started the, the nonprofit say, to change them? that. If you grew up in a, a divested community in Chicago, you might think that you're supposed to be ordering your food through bulletproof glass windows. You might think it's regular to not have the internet and go sit at McDonald's to use the Wi-Fi. That ain't regular. You need to step outside of whatever your comfort zone is and expose yourself to different things to grow. Growth that 15-year-old Hood has experienced herself. I got bullied as a kid a lot for like like being overweight and stuff like that. But when I joined like the group, I got more confidence and made me like made me more social. Our greatest quality in Chicago is diversity. For his work, Cole is the subject of a new documentary. If you can make it in Chicago, you can make it anywhere in the world, right? A tiny ripple of hope. He knows what it's like to be shot at and homeless and credits his college basketball coach in Nebraska for his life's philosophy. He said, Jamal, why do you have a 1.7 GPA? And I say, what do you mean? It's cold out here, I don't have no money. It smell like manure, y'all treat me racist, I'm having a hard time adjusting. And he'd say, you know what's missing from your list, Jamal? I said, no, what? Your name's not on it. No excuses. That no excuses philosophy came full circle when Cole volunteered at Chicago's Juvenile Detention Center. So I said, hey, why are you in jail? And they said, it's cold out here. I don't got no money. I hate it. Smell. Y'all treat me racist? I was like, that's my list. That's my list of excuses. And that's when my life changed. Youth must apply to be a part of our Explorers program. What clicked was the idea of exposing teens so they make different lists. Short-term goals are release a bunch of music, graduate, help the community, and show my spark. It sounds like you've achieved a lot of those short-term goals. Yes, I actually have. You definitely show your spark, Anthony.